Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Steam and Steel, episode number 32. So, interesting problem to have, but it's also a good problem at the same time. So, I drove just my train back down here, everything else I left behind. But if we go up to the ranch and then through the thing, and then we go over here, and we look over here, you're going to see a big building built, and that's the store house thing, because one load of cattle produces over 200 food. I still have seven cattle that haven't been refined. Each cattle takes approximately uh, doo -doo -doo, five, there it is, five uh, cord wood. So, if I have, one sec, I have seven, seven cattle left. I need seven by five, which is 45 more cord wood. This one here is 23, with the three there puts me at 26. So then I'm gonna need another bulkhead, 26, and another one to put me at 43. And I need 45. So we're gonna grab this and that. And I'm gonna see what else can carry cordwood because I just don't want to have to. I don't want to have to get one of these. But I'm thinking that maybe one of the flat wagons. Do you guys carry cordwood? No. You don't. I have to get another flat bulkhead anyway. because I need cordwood for leather production. The next interesting thing to think about is I produce 300 food. How am I gonna transport it all? And the lucky thing is, is when I go up there, I only need to take the leather with me to the tannery and cordwood. So what I can do is I can fill this all up with leather and then I can go back and stop and fill up with uh, food because I just produced 300 food that's that that's amazing I wish there was like little towns where you had to bring the towns food or you didn't have to but if you did like it would give you a quest line and you could unlock new um, new engines or new facilities or upgrades for your engines and facilities that actually might be a good idea. So, uh, Dev, consider, you know, giving that a shot if you want. Because, yeah, actually, I really like that idea. Like, you have a little town, I don't know, like, just in the middle of nowhere, like, up in the mountain, like, way up here. And they're, like, there's a guy up there, and every now and then he comes up with a quest, and he's like, I need 30,000 food, which sounds like a lot, 30,000, but it's only, oh, let's see if I'm producing, th or sorry, 3,000, sorry. It's only 10 full trips to the slaughterhouse. And the amount of money that that's worth is immense. It's just immense to think about, I think. Anyway, I'm going to break here, and I will get back in touch with you guys when I'm back to the slaughterhouse and I've finished with my little problem up there. Okie dokie. We're done. Takes one, two, three, four, and one. Loads of cordwood for six wagons from the slaughterhouse. Uh, it works down to 72 pieces of leather, 255 food, and 18 grease. And yes, there are now two of those stored sheds. So, we're gonna grab as much of the leather as I can. I'm actually gonna watch these load up one sec. Let me just speed load a bunch of these. Oh, so they load in crates, that's sad. Some of them don't have textures loaded, my apologies. But it loads 21, I believe. So these are just gonna load up on their own. Uh, bulkhead, there we go. 21 food. How much does the uh, van take? Ballast wagon, wagon, wagon. 10, 11, 10. 20. So, yeah. 
uh, two, four, six, sixty-three. So yeah, we're good. So we don't need the uh, bands for the leather, at least. <laughs> So, I'm going to grab all of this stuff, forward, break off, you have to use the map to do this, unfortunately, and break here, there we go. There's a lot. The one good thing is it isn't necessarily heavy on cargo always. It's just heavy on the actual stuff itself. It's only 20 bucks a piece, too. Interesting. So, that's going to load up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay. I do wish you could load food and stuff, like two things onto one thing. Like, I get it, you can't load more than just cattle into the cattle wagons. I get that much. But, oh well. Anyway. Open up the map. Open up the build menu. We're going to delete that little guy. We're going to start going this way. So, uh, grade is zero, curve is zero, build mode on, straight track. Good to go. We're actually just going to go this way. Because it's going to go to here. And I'm going to switch to stone embankment, even though it's more expensive. So we're going to... We do need a grade. I forget what the grade has to be, though. So one sec. Grade has to be 1%. So we're actually going to do a grade of... Point eight, and that's because this is a, that's for a direct line. We're not doing quite a direct line, and we do want to do a curve. So right now a curve is zero, but what if we do two hundred? No. Four hundred. No. Three fifty. Let's see if that works. Close. Uh, 300. Okay, that's gonna work. So, if we're gonna do a curve of that, get myself whacked in the face there. Marvelous. Trestle spline. And we're just gonna go all the way up here. Actually, you know what? We'll do 325. 325. That should hit the mountainside in a moment. Not quite. Uh, let's see. 340. There. Perfect. Three grand. That was horrific to watch. That, that was brutal. Are all these in the ground? Oh, they're so close, but they're not quite. Cut tree. Delete that guy. And I think we're going to time-lapse the rest of this happening so you don't have to watch me horrifically and slowly build this all. Okay? I'll see you all when that is done.
Okay, we're back and we have made it all the way to the tannery. And I am actually fairly surprised that I made it this far. So, I took my time and I did a nice sloping track. You guys all watch this, of course. But, 
started off and then some bridges and this is all the stone so it was more expensive of course but I had to do the bridge thing here for this track the next time I go up to the iron mine we'll find out whether or not this works and went properly and it just snakes its way around the mountain and all the way up and we're gonna throttle back build mode delete mode I forgot to get rid of that and get rid of that awesome I guess I didn't need to slow down. Now my question is, which way am I going to want to... I'm going to probably want to go straight when I come out. Yeah, or come in I should say. Of course we have to get all this stuff at the back off of it. It's none of it's at the front. Again, this is probably a place where I'll have two of those. Once I can afford it, that is. Yeah. At the moment, I can afford absolutely nothing. I'm actually surprised I managed to make it. I was expecting to have to build a little section of track and hop over some of these wagons one at a time. Okay. So the way we're going to do this is we're just going to do a simple comparison ratio. How many of these? Sorry, for how many one of these do we need of those? Mm, they sell for $60 a piece. That is cheap as hell. Those are not worth much at all. Oh yeah, and then 30 with the standard demand bonus. That's not much better. Now we go back here, and we're going to see, so it takes 21, so it makes one leather into one textile, I guess. It didn't even take a full cordwood? Is this actually going to be a decent conversion ratio? Cordwood, 21 and 1. How many cordwoods are on a car, please tell me? Uh, cordwood. Oh, 23, so it takes two ish. So we'll just watch this again. So that's at 21, that's at 20. Three. Okay. So. How many do these guys carry? 23. Oh gosh, 23. Let me just do math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, I can do 6 textiles with each load of cordwood. I have 70. I have 70. I don't think that lines up very well. Just, just an opinion here. And it's just the textiles, okay. And if we go back here, and we go back to the bulkhead, this hauls, this does not haul textiles. What hauls textiles, tell me? It's probably going to be literally just the uh, van, isn't it? 20 of them, okay. Awesome. So that's gonna be that. We'll offload that, no, we're not gonna offload this. I want to hide the man bonus. So we got that, 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 that. So we're gonna have to zip on all the way down back to base. Which is funny enough, just over there. But 
We gotta do this the long way, of course. Break off. We should be good, right? Yeah, we got enough cord, and enough leather. Okay. Actually, you know what? I was originally gonna go down, but I think I'm gonna just sit here and wait a little bit. Yeah. I'll wait. I'll see you guys when the waiting is done. Okay. That has taken way too long to do. I'm out of cordwood. I got seven left. Which means I need another car. I need to buy five more of those for this thing to be fully self-sustaining. I also have exactly $10,000. That's, that's, that's nice. I like having a round amount of money like that. It, it makes me happy. So I did go down and I grabbed those guys while well, just sitting up here and waiting. Because really it was just me going back and forth with loads of cordwood. That is a very long track. It takes about four minutes to do the entire track at top speed with just one load of cordwood. This is also going to be one of the ones where we double up on station platforms. And now we're going to find out how much a piece of leather is worth. For a piece of textile, $80 a piece. Brutal. So it's the same price as tools. five behind because I'm going to do another trip up here on my own and I'm just going to bring up the last of the cordwood to finish this off so the, this is going to be all on its own shunting lane it's going to have however many of these I'm not quite sure how many of those I'll need, I'll need one more of those on the entire thing I'll have four of those on the entire thing, definitely, because that's the only thing textiles can go in. But I'm not sure how many more I'll have, because all of these are going to get filled up with food on my way back. So if I still need extra space for food, then I'll add more of them. But it's also a matter of, I'm going to have five more for the food. But yeah. The train can do this route just fine. Because, right, some of these are empty as well, right? Like, all these guys are empty at the moment. That is a sharpish corner, though. Are these guys doing fine? Yeah, they're doing fine. And it's just booking it across that. But I'm glad that I can finally set up a train where it's just you grab one thing, one shunt line in all, and you're good to go for the entire trip. Uh, slaughterhouse, here we are. So we do have two buildings there for the extra storage. Because I have a lot, there's a lot of food, apparently. There we go. Open up the map here. I'm gonna have to start breaking soon. Y'all gotta give me some credit for a beautiful parka job such as that. Because that is pretty immaculate. It's pretty darn immaculate. So, we're just gonna grab food and green crates. How much are they a piece? $40 a piece?
I'm also going to need three grease wagons. Oh, look at that. Lots and lots of food. But I do wish it wasn't just a pretty much, a, it's pretty much a byproduct, really. And that's a little unfortunate, but oh well. And break there. Also having a second person would make this so amazing. Because then I wouldn't have to run back and forth every time. Mm. Uh. It would also be interesting if you could actually go into the storehouses. Like if I were just able to go here, open the door and walk through and see how much of everything there was actually in the crates were stacked up. Oh, I'm going to need so much more. Jeez Louise. But I still have 129. I'm going to fill that last bulk wagon and that'll bring me down to 128. Sorry, 108. And those two cars will bring me down to... 68. Yeah. I forget if it's these two cars or if it's these two cars that are empty. I hope it's these two here. have enough money. That's funny. I don't have enough money. I can f put three more on, right? Four, eight. Four more on, sorry. So if I'm doing this load, I need at least $10,000. One. Two. Three. Four. And I got zero bucks in my bank account. Full throttle, zero brake. You can actually kick the reverser down still because it doesn't need much reverser for this. The entire path is downhill as far as I remember. This is a, mon a monstrosity. It's actually pretty cool. bridge actually fits there. Looks good. Looks really good. I should have brought the stone a little bit closer to the edge of the bridge though. And then this bridge too. Yeah, for a bridge like this, they, they would have used a bridge here. Or they would have tried to go around, I'm not sure. I would have brought the stone out more as well though. Turn off the throttle there. Turn it back up. We're going to blow right past the uh, ranch. If you're here, like that's another thing, that this map isn't set up for dual driving. Like two trains at once. 
Because if you had somebody there loading up cattle at the ranch, and you just came blowing by, that would be a horrific mess. It would be brutal. But I am glad I can do these lines at speed. Oh gosh. Look at how long it's taken just to slow down. Brutal. Amazing. Boom. And everything is still here, which is spectacular, actually. $70 a piece. It was quite shameful. But look at that, it gets all the way back to here. Again, I'm just going too fast to offload. Okay, forward. Okay. guys are all empty. Don't tell me I don't have enough speed. Come on. Okay, I double check that all these doors are open. a piece, not bad. It's not spectacular since they were 80 a piece to buy, but I'm just getting rid of them, really. There's nowhere else for them all to go. Boom, there we go. 14,000. 15,000. And I think that's where we're going to leave off. So, that was actually a pretty good day. Made a fair bit of money. Spent a fair bit of money to get there, though. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Have a great week. Stay safe. Peace out.